When does the obligation to support a child end? Child support obligations may be created one of two ways, under a court order or by virtue of a contract, stipulation, or agreement between the parents that is confirmed by the court. And child support may also be determined administratively in Virginia by the Department of Social Services Division of Child Support Enforcement. So let's discuss when these, uh, in these situations, when the support obligation would end. First of all, when the child turns 18, support might cease. Now, support might continue past age 18 to the age of 19 or uh, upon the graduation of the child from high school, whichever happens first, when three conditions exist. One, that the child is a full-time high school student. Second, that the person, the child, is not able to support him or herself. And third, that the child is residing in the household of the parent receiving support. So in that circumstance, child support by law may be continued until either age 19 or graduation from high school, whichever happens first. Now, child support may also be continued under a court order or by law if the child, uh, upon reaching an adult, has special needs that require it. And there's some dispute in the cases about whether the request for the continuation of the support must be made before the child reaches majority otherwise, or whether it can be done afterwards. And certainly the safer practice is to request a continuation of the support before you reach the age uh, when support would terminate. Now, a child who is to receive support beyond that age as an adult would have to be severely and permanently mentally or physically disabled. The child, or now adult, would have to be unable to live independent, independently and support him or herself. And then finally, uh, the, the adult, uh, disabled adult, m must reside in the household of the parent receiving support. So if those conditions exist, support may be continued uh, for that now adult. The second way in which a support obligation could be created is by virtue of a contract, an agreement or a stipulation, a separation agreement, a property settlement agreement, or an agreement and stipulation, they're sometimes called, uh, between the parents regarding how support is to be paid. Now, a judge in Virginia may simply disregard a contract between parents concerning child custody, child visitation, or child support. The judge may look out for the best interests of the child, regardless of what the parents have agreed to uh, by contract. But if uh, the agreement is uh, confirmed by the court, then the parties might provide for support to be paid uh, well past the age of 18 or 19 uh, years of age or graduation of high school. In some cases, I've seen uh, parents who have agreed to split or have one parent pay the cost of co college tuition or college costs and expenses. And I think uh, the parent who is undertaking that obligation should consider the reasons why that support would be paid to the other parent who might have been the custodial parent up, to, up until that point because this uh, child is now an adult in college and is, is at least in the eyes of the law maybe living independently. Uh, and some parents address that because through an agreement where they each split agree to s split the costs of college rather than have support paid to one or the other. So uh, by contract confirmed by the court, the parties may extend a child support obligation for a greater term or duration than what would ordinarily be required under the law. You should consult with your Virginia family law lawyer to discuss when a child support obligation concerning your child might end.